Mayfair is the heart of Northeast Philly. When people in the Philadelphia area or even further than the Philadelphia area think of Northeast Philly, what they're thinking, I don't think they realize how big Northeast Philly is. You know, you're starting down Frankfort, going up to Somerton and, and Parkwood. But when people outside of the Northeast think of the Northeast, they think of Mayfair. They're thinking of row homes. They're thinking of Frankfort Avenue. They're thinking about people going to Cotman and Frankfort when the Phillies win the World Series or various other um, sporting occasions. So that's what they're thinking of. So really to fight and keep Mayfair strong is to fight and keep the entire Northeast strong because we can't have a strong Northeast Philly without a strong Mayfair. This is the anchor of the community. Even though, you know, John Purcell is a Republican, I'm a Democrat. John Purcell was a moderate Republican. He wasn't a Republican like the one that I see out in Harrisburg now, which are these arch conservative, anti-labor, anti any sort of uh, government funding type Republican. He was much more sort of moderate Philadelphia Republican who um, recognized that there were important issues in the community that, that needed funding. Um, do I believe that it's gonna be a permanent um, you know, system where there's not gonna be funding for community groups? No, I don't. Because I think that people over time will see that they want their elected officials to, to deliver uh, resources to the, the local groups which need them. I do unfortunately believe that it's going to be very difficult in this term to deliver grants and, and other monies to, to local groups because of the campaign promises of Tom Corbett and also the uh, Republican majority in the legislature. It's a much different caucus out there. The, the Republican caucus is fundamentally different now than it was under John Purcell's reign. It's a much less southeastern PA focused uh, caucus and it's much more rural Pennsylvania with um, much more of a fiscally conservative uh, approach to, to government and, and spending. I think it's important for us to realize that the Community Center, Devon Theater, the Mayfair CDC, that had nothing to do with what John Purcell was indicted on. Those groups are completely innocent. What John Purcell stands accused of totally relates to something completely different than, than you know, the funding that he secured for those projects. So um, I think we, we need to emphasize that because those groups are completely innocent of any of what John Purcell stands accused of. And so those, those remain important. Absolutely. They, they, and I, when I ran, uh, for for state representative, I those funding those those projects were um, and basically a, a big issue of mine. We're in contact with the bank to basically try to get, I mean, whether it's local universities or uh, other community groups, local theaters, to use the Devon, because you know you talked earlier in terms of this economic climate, you know how does that change a local elected official's um, approach to government. That would be one way that it'd be different. Rather than us getting a massive check for the, um, for the theater, we're working with the bank to make sure that good tenants come in. And, and we're working with the, the community center as well. We're gonna have some community events there over the summer and in the fall, because that's one idea that we have to work with the local community. We're gonna have a family night, a family movie night at Mayfair Playground near the, near the center and to encourage people to, to view Mayfair as a, um, a great place to raise a family.